Our first order of business in solving these linear systems of differential equations is to be able to transform them in between matrices and their equation forms, their parametric equations. Okay, so then I'm taking a look at this first example. In this first example, what I want to do is I want to take this system of differential equations and transform it into matrices. Okay, so then I'm going to let, I don't know, let's call it x, sure. I'm going to let x, ah, we shouldn't use x. Oh, well, yeah, um, yeah, x, y. Okay, so then I want to rewrite this guy in terms of that. Here, here, this is going to be the derivative of x. Okay. Um, x prime, that's going to be this coefficient matrix, 3 minus 5 and 4, 8, great, times my x, y, check the multiplication, wow, all right, so then, x prime. Now note, mind you, that these x's, um, yeah, are vectors times 3 minus 5 for 8 x. Very nice. And then we see that we do have that system in the form x prime is equal to our coefficient matrices times our solution. All right, let's come up to this one. Here we have it written in matrix form. Let's transform it back. Yeah, here we see this is um, um, d dt of x, y. Okay, and then that's going to be equal to, wait for it, 4 minus 1 2, 3 times our vector plus, now those scalars times that function, I can multiply e to the minus t and minus e to the minus t. Okay, so then let's perform this multiplication. Yes, this is dx, dt, dy, dt, and we see that's going to be 4x and plus 2y when we perform that matrix multiplication minus x plus 3y. Okay, and then I'm going to take and I'm going to add that vector to it, e to the minus t minus e to the minus t. And then we'll see when we add these, our top row is going to give us dx dt is equal to 4x plus 2y plus e to the minus t. And our bottom row is going to give us that dy dt is going to be um, minus x plus 3y minus e to the minus t. So then there we see, we can go in between the forms. Next thing we want to do is check it. Yeah, let's talk about how to um, check whether or not our found vector is, an or is a solution to our differential system. Okay, nice. I have dx dt is 3x minus 4y. My dy dt is 4x minus 7y. And my um, proposed solution is 2 or 1, 2 e to the minus 5t. All right, now it needs to be a solution to this guy. So what do I need? I need to find a few pieces. I have my x, my solution, my coefficient matrix can be found, and um, I need to find the derivative. So then, let's come over here and let's look. Um, if I was going to transform that into uh, one vector instead of a vector times a function, this is going to be e to the minus 5t and 2e to the minus 5t. Okay, 
So now I can find the derivative of that guy, x prime. Um, that's going to be the derivative of the components of that vector. Here we go. Minus 5e to the minus 5t. And minus 10e to the minus 5t. Yes. So now what am I going to do? I'm going to plug it in, plug it in. It's going to make the whole system smell fresh. Yes. So now I need to check it is minus 5e to the minus 5t um, minus 10e to the minus 5t. Is that the same as my coefficient matrices? 3 minus 4, 4 minus 7 times my suggested solution. Um, oh, 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 oh yeah, e to the minus 5t and 2e to the minus 5t. Okay, let's perform this multiplication. We want to know, are those the same? Let me see. Minus 5e to the minus 5t and minus 10e to the minus 5t. Yes. Is that the same as 3? e to the minus 5t, 2 times 4 is minus 8, e to the minus 5t. And then my second row in my multiplication is 4, e to the minus 5t, minus 14, e to the minus 5t. Hmm, are those the same? Well, let's see, let's see. Eight or 3 minus 8 is minus 5e to the minus 5t, and 4 minus 14 is a minus 10e to the minus 5t. Is the left side equal to the right side? Are the components matching? Yes. Check. So what can we say? We can say, you are a solution. Oh...